It is day eight of Extinction Rebellion's April Rebellion 2022 and a small group of concerned citizens have just blocked this Shell oil tanker for after leaving the petrol station here just on the edge of Hyde Park. Up on top of the tanker is Olympic gold medalist from the London 2012 Games, Etienne Stott. And a lady whose name I actually don't know. Uh, it's amazing with Extinction Rebellion, the trust involved that people have come together today that don't actually know each other to make this action happen. There are three people glued on to the wheels at the back and there's two at the front holding a banner. The banner reads, I'll take you along to see it. End fossil fuels now. The driver's ever so friendly, he gets it, he understands. He's got quite a few kids and grandkids. He's not angry. He'd like to get home, but he gets it. So on the side of the truck that says end fossil fuel. The Ukrainian president said, if we can't end the age of fossil fuels in the face of civilian slaughter and the destruction of our planet, what will it take? Well, it seems that this government is hell-bent on sending us to hell. <laughs> 40 new fossil fuel licences in their recent UK energy strategy, despite the IPCC report coming out three days prior saying it's now or never, today, not tomorrow, that there can must be no new fossil fuels. Investing in fossil fuels at this point in time is both moral and economic madness. So what's it going to take? Just ordinary people, concerned citizens that are going to force themselves in front of oil trucks to stop this system that is hell-bent on destroying itself. This is love in action.